yourself. Okay, you're weak, you're tired, you need love, you, 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 you're chasing yourself, you had a horrible day, you want to be appreciated, you want to be hugged, you want to be loved. Great! Why do you think that you're your friend, your wife, she doesn't need the same? Why that you're not going to show some love and some appreciation and, 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 and being kind and being nice? No. Call my rabbi. <laughs> That's stupid. It's so much. It's, it's a messed up world. Isha Sarvanit. She's refusing. She's refusing. She's not obligating. She doesn't work for you. It doesn't work like that. She doesn't have no obligation to be with you. She doesn't have that obligation in her rules, uh, in her commitments. It's not part of the things that she's obligated. And if you're going to ask, no, but the Rambam is saying, the Rambam, when he's saying that women need to be with their husbands, that's Hanhagot. Those are advice. Those are ways Way, the, those are advice of the Rambam. Those are not obligations. Those are not mitzvot. Those are not commitments. Those are not things that are obligating. This is a book of Musar, of wisdom, that the Rambam is explaining how a normal couple is supposed to live. But if you see that your wife, she doesn't want to be with you, so maybe you're going to do darsheni, maybe stand up in front of the mirror and, and, and work on yourself, that your wife, she's going to come back to love you. To care about your will. Maybe if you're gonna be nice, if you're gonna be polite, if you're gonna be sensitive, if you're gonna be honorable, if you you you're gonna show some love, some appreciation, maybe she will want to be with you. Maybe she will desire you. Maybe she will dream on you 24/7. If you're gonna be nice to her, why that she will, why that she will not gonna want to be with you? Why? She gonna she gonna miss you also. She gonna desire to be with you. She gonna miss you. She gonna ask yourself when you gonna come back home. When I'm gonna see my loving husband, my kind husband. Oh, I miss him so much. Why that she will not gonna think like that? But if you're coming every day, angry, and, and, and not satisfied, and seeing only the lackings and only the the defaults and always have complaints and nothing satisfy you. And then at night, for sure, you have your needs because you're a man. That's not a man. That's an, an animal. That's not a man. That's not a man. A man is not a person with needs. That's a, that's. I'm sorry to say that. That's maybe a female, not a male. Maybe. A man, he's got needs. So, wh which man are you? Which kind? Which kind of a man? A male? What are you? Like a goat, like a deer, like an animal? That's a, the, the, a bull that sees another female from the other side, and now he's gonna break the fence and gonna do whatever. That's a man. That's an animal. That's not a man. That's not manhood. To be a man, it's to be a kind person. An understanding person, a caring person, a loving person. That's a man. Gever, the Gemara is telling us, it's Gomel Chasadim Baishan Rahman. Gever, man, is a person that he's got in the word Gever means that he's Gover, that he can overpower on all of his desires, that he's a hero that controls himself. And how he reveals his powers when he is a kind person, Gomel Chasadim, he's giving charity, he's helping, he's a very nice person, generous person. By Shan, he's, he's shy, Rahman, and his mercy. That's a man. A man is not a tough guy, kashua, hard, stiff, I don't know what. That's not a man. That's not a man. A man is a hero. A hero is a person that is able to admit in his mistakes, to be honest, to be straight, to be nice, to be kind, to be helpful, to be understanding. I'm a man, I have my needs. That's not a man. 
That's not a man. That's a wimp. <laughs> it's not a man. A man is a person that is controlling himself, that he's got self-control. That when someone tells him no, he understands. No, it's a no. That's it. He's a person with respect, with honor, with dignity. That's a man, right? I'm happy you agree. I hope your wives agree also. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> the ones of you that are going to survive till tomorrow.